the show. You saw how good our little helper was during our last segment. Now it's time to meet her in person. Who is little Flurry, Perry? Little Flurry right here. You know, I saw a greyhound on the show today. I expected this big dog on the floor here. Little did I know it was going to be an Italian greyhound mix, and this is a very, very rare dog for us. She is super cute. She came in from one of our many, many hoarding situations we've had recently, and not only did she come in, she came in with four puppies in tow also. So off she went to a foster home. And foster my mom, Dion, just did a great job with this dog. She's, she's a little bit shy. She's a little bit timid. But like I said, Dion did a great job with her. Brought her out of her shell very, very well. And you know, when dogs come in with their puppies, it's very, very important to keep them together. Not just because those puppies are too young and not enough weight to be spayed in order to be adopted. They learn a lot from their mom. Socialization is extremely important. Moms teach their puppies an awful lot of things. They teach them things like bite inhibition, just social behaviors. And uh, they sometimes can teach them to be house trained and all those other great things. So it's very, very important to keep them together. This little gal right here, look how cute she is. She's like I said, she's a little bit shy. So in a shy home, you want to keep a quiet place for her in the house, not too rowdy right off the bat until she gets accustomed to her surroundings. But she's going to be wonderful. She's really, really brightened up a little bit in the studio here. And she is loving the attention. Look at this little Italian. Oh this yeah, she she hammed it up for sure. Cute little flurry. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, the Arizona Humane Society has taken in more than 200 dogs and cats in need of medical attention, and we need your support. Our emergency animal medical technicians and animal cruelty investigators have rescued these animals from a boarding facility where, where they were kept in poor living conditions and some in need of immediate medical attention. This means we are running pretty low on kennel space and resources to care for both the new pets and those currently in our care. Our focus is to take care of and find new homes for the pets currently in our shelters so we can take our time treating and rehabilitating the pets we've taken in. Here's how you can help with our current pets. There's four ways that you can help. This first is, of course, adopting. If, you, if you've been considering adding to your pack, we hope you would consider one of our awesome pets. We're also having an adoption special where all dogs one year and older will be 50% of their adoption fee today and tomorrow. The second way is to foster. When you become a foster hero, you save not only the life of the foster pet, but also those who can now be cared for by, preying up, by freeing up kennel space. Our online orientation is super fast and easy. Check it out at azhumane.org slash foster. And of course, donating your time and money are always welcomed. Volunteers and donations are the cornerstone to our life-saving work. Make sure to visit AZ Humane for all the ways that you can help today. And I'm sure if you look up kitten mischief in the perfectly cute dictionary, you'd see the bundle of energy as this example. Janine, you and Kathy definitely have your hands full. <laughs> We are having a blast over here playing with these kittens. Isn't this amazing? This is one litter. They're all uh, like each individual one that looks completely different from the other. And they came in underweight and underage. Whoops. And um, they went and they also had some kitty colds too. So they went to Foster Hero Home Tyler's house and, and fattened up and got social and now they are ready for a, to be in someone's forever home and they just I mean anytime a cat shows you his belly you know that's full-on trust but um, what I think is great and when you adopt more than one animal is they already have a bond with each other and they already have a hierarchy with each other and like who's dominant and who's submissive and that so you're already it's like instant pet which is perfect and um, what I think is a great idea is to when you first get kittens is to keep them in a room with all their toys and their cat furniture and their food and their water and that way you know they're going to be safe and they're going to be secure and and get adjusted to your home the sights and sounds so and also I think a great product is called a litter genie and that's where you can keep the litter box under control and it makes having a cat piece of cake. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for all those tips. And I think Noche is a little acrobat over there. He's ready for the big games happening. And 
Now, we are almost exactly one month away from our biggest event of the year, Compassion with Fashion 20. As you can guess from the name, it's this year's, it's this event's 20th anniversary, and we hope you can join us for a life-saving luncheon and fashion show to help homeless pets. You'll enjoy a delicious lunch, can shop our luxurious silent auction, and take in a one-of-a-kind fashion show featuring our adorable, adoptable pets. Also, for the first time ever, you can enjoy a live auction featuring incredible items, including a one of a kind Ron Burns custom arts piece made specifically for this show. Compassion with Fashion 20 will be on Sunday, March 25th at the JW Marriott Camelback Inn Resort. In Scottsdale, the silent auction and meet and greet with our adoptable pets will start at 11 a.m. with lunch service. To purchase your tickets or for any questions on how to donate to the silent auction or for sponsorship opportunities, make sure to visit azhumane.org slash CWF. Now, I'm loving all of the adorable and different ears that we have on the show, and Nicola looks like a cute little satellite with her ears. They are always up on high alert. She is a six-year-old Carolina dog. She's probably a shepherd Carolina dog mix because she's pretty big. But she's, again, six years old, and she was another one of the injured and homeless strays in our valley here. She was found uh, with a mammary mass and turned into an emergency animal clinic who transferred her to us when they found she was did not have an owner. So Second Chance staff, again, removed her mammary masses, and she's been recovering in the hospital. She's still got some staples in, but in just a few days, she will be have those staples out and be ready to adorn someone's home. But she's very active at six years old. She is in retirement from having babies, but she is ready to have you just teach her some tricks and walk her on a leash, and she is just a friendly girl. And now we have another sweetheart who hasn't let her rough past get her down. Oh my gosh, she's just melted into you. She has, uh, Kelsey. Settled story here. She's found at the bottom of the canal. A uh, very, very common scenario for us where she was extremely dehydrated and extremely emaciated. So our EAMTs took her back to her second channel, second chance animal trauma hospital, and they started the uh, whole dehydration procedure for her to get her better. You know, with the uh, warm weather coming up, actually dehydration can happen any time of the year, but it's going to be even more prevalent when the weather gets warmer. Notice the signs, very, very, very dry gums, dry nose, sunken eyes, and one of the real big giveaways is elasticity of the skin. If you pull their skin up, particularly right between their shoulder blades, and it doesn't immediately slack right back down into their body, then that is a dehydrated doggy. And of course take precautions for that. You start giving them uh, water and, and fluids and things like that, but you can't do it too fast. So if you have any questions, please visit our website and do your research on dehydration. Little Annie right here, look how gorgeous she is. She's a little Karen Terrier mix. She is still a little bit shy, but she's getting better and better, and she had a little rough life, but I'm sure she's not going to have a hard time getting the doctors to so come on down and check her out. And we have an adorable pair you won't want to miss when we come back. Make sure to stay tuned.